Hello and welcome to the Game and Party channel. I'm Mike Davis and today we're taking a look at the card game Control from Keymaster Games. This game plays two to four players in about five to ten minutes. You can play two player games or four player games as teams. It's a great little game. I'd like to give a big thanks to Keymaster Games for sending us a copy of this to show off. Let me show you how the game plays and I'll give you my thoughts on it at the end. The first thing I wanted to show you was this uh, card breakdown card they have. It shows you what all cards are in the game, what the fuel cost is on each one, which is great. And then over here, it shows you your, play your little player aid here. This is great. I suggest having this in front of you uh, throughout the game. You'll notice at the bottom of each card, there is a little two and a one symbol there. Uh, if you're playing a two player game, you're going to break up the deck so the one player will get all the cards with a circle, the other player will get all the cards with the two diamonds at the bottom. The object of the game is to be the first player to have 21 fuel total in front of you in the game. So this is worth one right here. You play this in your play area. On your turn, you can do a few things here. First, at the very beginning of your turn, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a card. You start the game with four cards. So each person is going to shuffle up their deck. I've got this set up for a two-player game here. So I've got my deck. There's the other player's deck. You shuffle these up, you're going to deal yourself four cards to, for your starting hand. On your turn, you can do one of these items here. I can either draw another card. If I do, I'll have five cards in hand now, and that's the end of my turn. Or I can play a card from my hand. There's two types of cards. There's stable cards and unstable cards. I'll go over those in a moment. You can discard a unstable card. I'll show you that in a moment, too. And you can diffuse a card. All right, so let's go back here. So play a card from your hand. If I play a stable card, that's a card that has the little square symbol here. If I play a card like that, then I just place it down here and it stays in my play area. There is an effect here that happens right when I play it in this, this area. So for example, the rift here, return a card in play to its owner's hand or draw a card. So I can draw another card now if I'd like. If at the end of my turn, I have more than seven cards, I have to discard down uh, to seven. All right, the other thing I can do, I can play one of these unstable cards. So let's say Nova, I can play that. That is unstable, but that goes here in my play area also. Now, now I've got 11 fuel. Uh, I'm, over, I'm halfway there to getting 21 uh, in my fuel area here, which is what, what I want to win the game. All right, the next thing you can do is you can discard one of your unstable cards. So for example, this number nine here, I can dis discard this to do the action here on the card. That's the only way to really kick off the action on these unstable cards is to discard them. The stable cards, you play these in your play area and you do the action. So if I want to do this action here, I will discard it and then it says discard this card at any time to cancel a ability of another unstable card. So if someone tries to play another unstable card, let's say for example, someone tries to play Singularity. My opponent there, they try to play this and they discard it to uh, discard all of the uh, either stable cards or all unstable cards. I don't want that to happen. Then I'll say, oh, I'm going to play Time Stop here and discard that. So basically it's like a nope card. You're stopping someone from playing something. And someone can play a Time Stop on top of a Time Stop. So you play one and then your opponent plays one, then it cancels out that and the action still gets to go through. The last thing you can do is defuse a card. To defuse a card, let's say my opponent here has a uh, that riff there in front of them as one of their cards. I can get rid of that riff card by defusing a card. I have to play a card that is higher than that in fuel cost, and I can basically discard both of these cards. So I say I want to use this four here. I want to use that to def defuse your one, and these would just, just be discarded into the discard pile in the game. There's just one single discard pile in the game. All right, let's take a look at a couple of other cards here. The other one here is a wormhole. This, you get to look through the discard pile and add a card from it to your hand, which is nice. You can go back and get a card that maybe you used earlier that you want to put back in your hand. You cannot get a wormhole with a wormhole. Another card here is antimatter. The antimatter card, you can force a player to discard a random card from their hand uh, and then one of your choice, or one of their choice, I'm sorry. That is mean. That is very mean, but that's a card you can discard that. But again, if you've got a time stop, you can play that and stop that from happening. The other cards in the game here, we have a future shift. Look at the top two cards of the deck. Discard one and then take an action with the other. Uh, that's a pretty powerful one. And it's worth six on the fuel here. Again, you're trying to get 21 total, and it could be a, a mixture. It could be some stable, some unstable. You're just trying to get 21 total in front of you here. Another card to have is Dark Energy. 
draw two or return a card in play to the bottom of the deck. So I can just draw two cards or I can say, maybe my opponent has like this rift in front of them. I can say, I'm gonna take that and put that at the bottom of your deck. We're gonna get rid of that. That's a dark energy. All right, so there are cards, uh, the blue cards, or the stable cards, they have some powers also. These happen when you play them in your play area. So Deflector, uh, this card is immune to all opponent's abilities. That is great. So yeah, you've got a couple of these cards in your deck. Getting, getting these out is great because it locks them in place and people can't knock these out uh, with abilities. Exotic Matter, you may play another card with three or less. So I can play this Exotic Matter here for four points and then immediately right after that, play my number three card, uh, which is the Force Field. In the Force Field, you, uh, the Force Field, your other stable cards are immune to diffusion which is nice. The Rift card, return a card and play it to its owner's hand or draw a new card. And then the last one here is the Reactor. Discard one of your cards in play to mimic its abilities or use it for diffusion. That's a nice one too. So you can copy a, a card that's out on the, on the field. So there you go. That's all the cards in the game. Uh, let's come back up and I'll give you my thoughts on this game. And there you go, guys. That is Control from Keymaster Games. This is a great little two-player card game. You can play with four players. I prefer it with two players myself. The neat thing is you both have identical decks. You start out with identical decks. You know exactly what cards they've got. They know exactly what cards you've got. And as the game goes on, you if you've done a little bit of card counting and you see what cards are out, you can say, okay, I know in his deck he still has, or in his hand he still has a time stop. Uh, or maybe he's already played both his time stops, so I know he doesn't have those now, so I'm good to play this Nova and put it out. They're not going to stop me from that. Or It's great. I really enjoy uh, that, you know, guessing, uh, do they have enough cards to stop me from doing what I want to do here or not? Um, uh, you can skip your turn and just draw cards and get up to seven cards in your hand, so you can kind of plan to do three or four moves in a, in a row, which is great. And the Diffusion, that, that's, that's only kind of mean take that thing in the game. Uh, and I think the Singularity, too, is kind of mean. If, if your opponent has a bunch of you know, stable cards in front of them and you play Singularity, you say, all right, get rid of all your stable cards, and they're just, they lose their whole hand in front of them. So uh, the key to stopping that from happening is either, one, don't play a bunch of all the same cards, have a mix, or two, uh, have a time stop so you can stop those abilities. Uh, the diffusion is, is kind of neat because you have to decide, okay, he's got a five in play or he's got a, a six in play or whatever. I want to get rid of that, but I've got to give up a seven or more to get rid of that card. Is it worth it to me to do that or not? Uh, it's interesting decisions that you have to make there. So there you go, guys. Uh, the, oh, if you play at four players and you're playing on teams and it's not your whole team needs 21 points, it's one of the two of you on your team needs 21 fuel in front of you. And that can be difficult because if you've got, you know, a Nova in front of you and your opponent has a Nova, or your, your uh, partner has a Nova in front of them, that's 10 and 10. It'd be better if both of you had that, you know, and that'd be 20 and be great. But um, I, I've played uh, partners before. It's pretty neat. I prefer the two-player version of it because it's just fun to go back and forth. And you know exactly what cards are in their deck and you're trying to, are they, they going to play this card? Which one are they going to pull out next? I love that kind of aspect of the game. The little card counts here that shows you how many cards are in the games and a little play rate, that is perfect. I'm so glad they put that in the game. The rules are very well written. They even have examples in the, in the rules, and the rules are just a tiny little sheet. Great, great uh, game. Card quality is great, very thick cards. Awesome game. So I highly recommend Control, a great little two-player game. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our podcast. And you can find us on all of our social media sites on GameAndParty.com. See you on the next video.